One evening, my mom comes to me complaining that she was working on her computer when all of a sudden her thumb felt stuck and started hurting. She also complained that she could not move her thumb and eventually went to the urgent care clinic. After she was seen by the physician, she was diagnosed with something known as trigger finger and given some medications to help. So she wanted to know what exactly this so-called trigger finger was. Trigger finger is a condition in which a finger gets stuck in a bent position and then suddenly snaps out, sometimes with a popping sound and is typically associated with pain and joint tenderness. The medical name for trigger finger is stenosin tenosynovitis. So let's go ahead and break this name down. Stenosis, which means narrowing, tenosynovium means the tendon sheath, and itis means inflammation. Therefore, Stenosis tenosynovitis is the narrowing of the tendon sheath due to inflammation. Trigger finger occurs due to chronic irritation or inflammation of a pulley that holds the tendon sheath. The tendon sheath is a tubular connective tissue sheath that surrounds a long tendon facilitating the sliding of the tendon within surrounding structures. The chronic inflammation of the pulley holding this tendon sheath in place results in a loss of the smooth gliding of the finger flexor tendons at the hand. This is more common in women, patients with diabetes, arthritis, and individuals whose regular activities result in straining of their hands. Trigger finger is typically diagnosed clinically, and clinical features include locking of a finger in a flex position, which releases suddenly, with a snap or pop on extension, which is often painful. Sometimes, symptoms such as tenderness and a palpable nodule at the base of the metacarpophalangeal joint is also present. Symptoms also typically on the thumb or on the ring finger. In regards to treatment, Conservative management is typically the first line, and these conservative managements include NSAIDs such as ibuprofen, as well as splinting or immobilization of the affected finger for about six weeks. If conservative management fails, then further interventions are necessary, including a single ultrasound-guided glucocorticoid steroid injection into the tendon sheath. This is typically effective in about 90% of cases, especially if the tenosynovitis has been present for less than six months. And lastly, surgery, involving the splitting of the constricting ligament if other measures fail. Thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also like the video, as well as leave any comments below. I hope you have a great day. Bye.